Hello everybody, this is Janice. Happy Labor Day. I am back to do a um, video on alcohol ink. Um, I was inspired by the um, lady at uh, jog Jogglings or oh, I can't remember again what the name of that um, YouTuber is. Um, it's a really unique name, but anyway, I was inspired by her to get out my alcohol inks and my son, you know, Adrian was watching those videos with me and he said, I, I want to try that mom. And he knew that I have alcohol ink. So we did, we played these backgrounds on these cards were his design. He chose the colors and we played it with it together. I was very happy with the result of that. So let me just tell you what you need to do alcohol inking. Um, you need Adirondack alcohol blending solution. And these things are all found in the same area at Michael's. You need an, a blending tool. Um, it's basically the same tool that you use for your distress inks, but all you do is instead of putting a foam applicator pad, you put one of these felt pieces. And they come in a pack with lots and lots and lots of them. Okay, so you need those two things. And then you need any number of different alcohol inks. At Michael's you can get the mixatives in a pack of two. And if you want any kind of metallic or pearlescent kind of look to it, you need to get the, the metallic mixatives. And so all I, I only have the copper and the pearl. And they have a mixing ball in them. So you need to shake, shake, shake. Okay, and then you need, like I said, any number of colors um, from the Distress Ink line. And if you buy them at Michael's, they do come in a um, three pack. Okay, so I'm going to take inspiration from my color wheel and I'm going to do, I think my favorite color is the stream. So I'm going to get the stream, which is in this line, and then a blue. I have the sailboat blue here. Let's see. That's the only blue that I actually have, so that's just going to have to be good enough. And then some sort of a blue violet, which is uh, maybe the eggplant. Okay, so we're going to use those three. And then I think we'll use the copper mixative. Okay, so all you do is you get a piece of, you also need a piece of, um, if you want to do it on paper, it has to be glossy paper. And um, Michaels does sell Rangers glossy paper in a small I think, I don't know, this piece of paper happens to be um, from Stampin' Up, but, and that comes in 8.5 by 11, but you can also find it at Michael's, but they're small cards like this in a little pack, and it's hanging on the same, you know, in the same section that all of this alcohol ink stuff is found. And I, yeah, I like to have my craft sheet as well. Craft mat, is that what it's called? Anyway, okay, so we're going to take, and um, one thing you need to know is that since these are alcohol inks, they do um, dry pretty quickly if you don't cover them well. So I would say cover, cover it well as soon as you're done squirting onto your pad. Whoops, there goes the lid. Now, things like that don't happen to me when I'm just... <laughs> well, that's just going to have to wait. And then a plant. Oh, no, I bumped the camera. Sorry. Let's try not to make this one fly away. Okay, so that one was the eggplant. I used eggplant, stream, and sailboat blue. And you don't want to use a whole lot of this. Just a couple little drops. And that's it. 
And what you do is you start to pat it down here. The TV is on really loud. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. We're watching America, the story of us on Netflix. It's a documentary series about the, about American history. We're getting ready to go to New York next month. In less than a month, we'll be going to New York, New York State. Um, my husband's from upstate, and I'm from New York City. So we're going to be taking my son to go see the Empire, I mean, the um, Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island and stuff like that. So we're going to spend a good part of this month on American history so it can come alive when we get there. So did you see what I did? I didn't even say. All I did was take these, this alcohol blending solution and just put it on my and then it just makes all of those colors blend and do amazing things. Is that not so fun? Okay, and if you wanted to take it a step further and you wanted to just sprinkle just at random sprinkle some of this alcohol blending then you get what's called the agate technique. Isn't that pretty? Okay, and then this dries pretty quickly. And just so, so you know, um, to clean up this craft mat, um, you can use your alcohol blending solution, but I refuse to waste it. So it's not cheap, you know. I just use this rubbing alcohol from to, um, Walmart. And I just do this. And I take a paper towel and just clean it off and that's it. That's what I do. And that, my friends, is alcohol ink. So you can stamp on it, you can do this application onto anything non-porous. Like we could take this and we could do it onto a fragment piece. For example, um, I have them down here. Let's see. With the camera a little bit, sorry. I thought I could get to it, but I can't. Um, the camera's in the way. But really and truly, anything that is non porous, for example, these little, um, what do you call these? These little plastic things that I use on. It just does an embellishment. I can basically change the color. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's hard to tell on here. But really, anything metal, um, plastic, acetate, anything like that. Let me put it on the back of this since it's white. See that? How it's now it's a um, turquoisey blue. Okay, so um, I will make a card with this and share it with you on a later video. See how I stuck my finger in that? I can actually, if I don't like this at all, I can I can um, go in and just go over it again. And it, I kind of like lightens it a little bit. And so, that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.